Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at a Tachipi 4x6 bungee cargo net. And this was sent to me by Tachipi free of charge, but they're not paying me for this. And they didn't tell me to leave a five star review or anything like that. They just sent to me for review. Um, and I've also done a review on a Tachipi cargo carrier. It's a soft cargo carrier. I'll put a link in the description of that. So let's get this open. And if you find this helpful, I'll put a link in the description to this on Amazon. If you buy using that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So this is the cargo net. So this is four foot by six foot and it stretches to eight foot by 12 foot. Comes in a bag here. Let's see, here we go. And it says there's a four by four inch grid pattern to contain smaller items. It's five millimeter thick latex bungee cord, 12 premium alloy, aluminum alloy carabiners, Perfect fit for pickup truck, trailer, boat, Jeep, ATV, UTV, and more. After sales service email, and it has support at uh, chassstre.com. <laughs> so it says knotted joints, 4x4 grid, and the carabiner. So let's open this up. And here are the carabiners. These are oftentimes what you'd see on like keychains and stuff. They're they're durable enough for say cargo, but they're not made for like holding the weight of a human. So and you have twelve of them. Here is the bungee net. So here's that one of the squares, four by four square. Stretch that out. I think I'm going to need more room to open this, so I'll move to the floor and uh, we'll open this up. Okay, so here we have this laid out on the floor. You can see the four foot by six foot area. And this is essentially a bungee net. And then you use the carabiners at different points to attach it. So there are no hard fast rules on how you're supposed to set this up. You probably have them at the corners. You could take the carabiner and you could attach part of the net to another part of the net to like cinch it together, um, things like that. So I'm going to go take this out to my vehicle and I'll put some gear in it and I'll use the net to secure the gear. Okay, so I got the cargo net in the back of my 1997 Land Cruiser and I just used a cooler, this is an empty cooler and an empty like styrofoam cooler. So this is very lightweight, flop around a lot. So nets tend to be handy, not when you're full. I mean, if this was packed full, uh, nothing would move around, but when you're not full, that's when uh, cargo nets come in handy. If you have something small that's going to roll around and you want to secure it. So I have this here. I've uh, used the factory uh, tie downs and hooked that onto the corner and did that on all four sides. And then I just took up slack uh, with other carabiners here uh, to kind of tighten things up. And I may tighten it up a little more off this, see how it goes. And, uh, you know, hopefully this will hold this secure and we'll keep it from falling over. So I'm gonna go on a little test drive and we'll see if when I come back this is in the same form. Okay, so I took it on a little drive and went around some curves to get on the uh, highway entrance ramp and the load is still secured. Guess I didn't shake it earlier. So, um, of course, you know, you always could stretch these tighter, you know, if you uh, wanted to secure it more or, or less. So I, uh, Hook my little GoPro up here, took a video of it. I'll put that on the end of this video. But if you have any questions about this, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.